Hey, hey, everybody. How is everybody doing today? How are all my lovelies? This is Sleeved Mel 2015 coming at you for my weekly update. Sorry I didn't come back to you guys last week for week 44. This is week 45. Post-op, vertical sleeve, gastrectomy, VSG. Uh, real quick update stats and then we'll talk uh i have my vertical sleeve gastrectomy i can talk in tijuana mexico uh july 2nd of 2015 hence the name sleeved metal 2015 and uh i started my starting weight was 220 and i am now down Yawning trouble, but I'm still at 140. I last night I got on the scale and it said 138.8, and I like freaked out. I'm like, Yes, three more pounds! And so I ran to get my phone to take a picture for Instagram, and I have not posted on Instagram in a long time. I'm so sorry. Um, I went to take a picture, and so I went and ran, got my phone, came back, and the scale said 141. And I got off, and then back on, and then got off, and then got back on, like 20 more times. And it still said 141 for 142. I don't know if it's the scale or what happened, but I like freaked out when I saw 138.8 and then totally gone. And I'm like, no, my stupid scale hates me, it tricked me, what the freak? Stupid scale, so I got on this morning and it said 140.2. So I am in between one, I'd say 138 and 140. I am going to take my lowest weight and say I'm down to 138. <laughs> Even if it was for just a brief second, I don't know what happened, how, who, what, why. Did I gain 10 to two pound, two, three pounds running to the bedroom to get my phone and coming back? I mean, come on. Seriously, what the heck? Okay, so that was dumb, um, but uh, my body seems to be stuck at 140. I don't know if I'm going to lose more weight. And I'm just waiting for the day. Patiently. Unpatiently. Patiently? I could talk. Uh, unpatiently. Waiting for the day for me to hit 135. And I better hit it before July. Um, so I still have a few months. Uh, I'm not doing any exercise right now. I've been so busy. I've been cleaning. Elijah's birthday was this week. So we've been taking care of that. So I'm probably going to have some cake and ice cream this weekend. I had some ice cream the other day for on his birthday. And, you know, I, I'm i not going to concentrate on uh, what I'm eating this week because my son's birthday party. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go all out and only eat my small portions that I can eat. And here's the, here's a tip. If you're going to do this, you get your protein in first, then eat your desserts. So like I'll be eating most of the day because the party isn't till like five o'clock. So I'll be eating um, protein throughout the day and getting all my protein and vitamins in. And then during the party, I'll have a couple of bites of cake and ice cream. No big deal. I'm not worried about it. And I'm allowed to because I'm successful at what I'm doing and I've worked my butt off to get here, so I'm allowed to. Anyhow, um, if you're new to my channel, I promote these a lot. These are Power Crunch uh, protein bars and they are like a wafer cookie. See, they're crunchy and they're like a wafer cookie and these are the most amazing protein bars. They don't taste like cardboard. They're not chewy and hard and gross. They're crunchy like a wafer cookie. And they have each bar has uh, let's see, 200 calories. One cookie is the serving size, so that means the whole thing. They're only uh one and a half ounce, 1.4 ounces per bar. So I could get at least half or three quarters of the way in, uh, eat one, and I'm full. Um, I'm surprised how, how light they are. Only 10 grams of carbs, if only five grams of sugar per bar, and 13 grams of uh, protein per bar. So these are the most amazing protein bars. 
Walmart, GNC, Amazon. I mean, you can find them anywhere these days. I hear Trader Joe's, all sorts of places have them. So get your Power Crunch bars. My favorite is Peanut Butter Crunch. Um, anyway, if you're also new to my channel and you are a YouTuber, a weight loss surgery patient, excuse me, a weight loss surgery patient and also a YouTuber, um, you are more than welcome to join the Facebook group that is mentioned down in the description box down below. Make sure you let me know by either commenting on this video or messaging me on Facebook, Melody Mainville. And um, I usually look through my filtered requests for messages. Um, and let me know because sometimes profiles don't look legit and sometimes we ignore them and so we don't accept them. So let us know if you're going to be joining the, the group. Anyway, um, I'm still trying to reach my goal. There's not really much of an update. I have been so busy uh, doing a lot of things lately and I'm so tired apparently because I keep yawning and I'm so rude to yawn. I'm so sorry. <laughs> anyway, not much to update guys. There's really not much going on. Um, as soon as I hit goal, you guys are going to get a video, whether it's on my date or not. I'm not going to wait. As soon as I hit my goal. Uh, this weekend's going to be rough. We may be traveling to Seattle, Washington um, here very soon for treatments for Elijah. So we'll see how things go. Other than that, love you guys so, so much. Keep watching because eventually I will be making um, cooking videos. Pre-op diet to post-op diet to... Um, what I'm eating now. I'm going to be making videos working all the way up to what I'm doing now and I have a big huge plan on doing some professional cooking videos and cooking things what surgery weight loss surgery patients want to know what to eat what to cook and that's my goal so hopefully I'll be starting that not too far in the future so love you guys see you guys next week or maybe sooner who knows ciao bye